Grand Old Partisan celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I contemplate the life and death of Preston King, born in upstate New York this day of 1806. He passed the bar after earning a degree in classical studies and established a newspaper, the St. Lawrence Republican. During the Jackson administration, he won, as a Democrat, the first of several terms in the State House. King was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1842 and re-elected. Breaking with his party's pro-slavery establishment, he led the Barnburner faction of New York Democrats, who had formed the core of the Free Soil Party. In 1848, he won as that new party's nominee two more terms in Congress. King joined the New York GOP at its founding convention. At the 1856 Republican National Convention, Delegates considered him, along with Abraham Lincoln and others, for the vice presidential nomination. The next year, the legislature elected him a U.S. senator. Here's where his life story took a tragic turn. Though a patriot, he proved inadequate to the burdens of office during the Civil War, growing corpulent and lethargic. Legislators denied him a second term, electing instead Governor and RNC Chairman Edwin Morgan. At the 1864 Republican National Convention, it was King who championed a Democrat, Andrew Johnson, to be Abraham Lincoln's running mate. Back to Basics for the Republican Party explains that assassination made this one of the worst mistakes in his life. He allied himself with his first President Johnson, who rewarded his misjudgment by naming him Collector of the Port of New York. Three months later, King committed suicide by jumping from a ferry boat. The New York Tribune wrote, quote, The guilt of his death is not upon the soul of the suicide, but on the souls of living men, upon those who hunted him with such eagerness and rapacity that life was a dreary burden, reason fell, and death became a welcome blessing. Back to Basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, The more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.